Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain the basics of staircase and in detail just a review of the things that you must understand or remember while working with staircase. Now first thing stair, it's in rivet, it's not on the structural, it's on the architectural tab so you'll find stair there. So when you click on the stair, let's say when the first floor I'm adding from first floor to second floor, the second story so I'm gonna click on the stair here then the stair create stair will be active now the first thing is the family of the stair let's say we're using precast stair or monolithic monolithic stair here cast in place if it's precast you can go for this one cast in place we're gonna click on this one now we're gonna go to edit type to explain the things that we have at the now in the stair we have a lot of information here can be done now first those are the information that you have for the riser for the thread depth now this is written maximum minimum why because rivet is allowing you to change them while placing them but this will be the limits so you can directly add them there if you don't know what you have or you are designing something you can use for design purpose the same thing something else but if you want to exactly to create them so add the values that you will have it here those are the, the riser height and this is the thread depth and this is the run with the width of the stair that you have it now the other thing that you have it here the run type here it's given noising here now noising basically it's let's just explain this one this is noising you see that sometimes the the will be like this so this part here this is the noising if you don't like this noise here don't this one you can go for noising change this one to zero just click on this one make sure this is zero here you don't have it will be straight it will be straight there no I didn't change the naming here basically I can rename this one to make it zero I could duplicate as well you could duplicate it but let's say I'm choosing this this one over here now I made this one zero now something else the landing type the landing we have it here now landing basically it's the part when the stir you give a rest so basically this is the landing we have it here this is what we're talking about this part here so we can have the thickness of it and the material the material here so we can give this one to be if you want the stair to be a part of the material quantity you can choose the material the way the same material of the other elements and then this one here I can make it for example whatever it is 15 centimeter 15 centimeter now from the run type here let's go back there for this part here the run as well so make sure that the the landing the landing thickness although I didn't change the name of it and the run it's the same thing right? because we want it to be similar if it is not similar if it's not similar you can have them different for example sometime people or the designer will create something here the landing will be thick but on the other hand by the way which one is what to understand them so there is the this is the run this is the landing maybe the landing here for some purposes they make it thicker and this is the this is the run the structural depths of the they called the run the run basically here if these are not the same you can manage them but mainly they will be the same for the construction purposes if it's special case can be changed that's something else so here this is 15 i made it the category of them is the same way i'll make change this one to be the same material now the naming here by the way I didn't change this one the thickness I changed the thickness to 15 but the name here I'll just remain this one 250 millimeters so that I can see it there 
so the landing type is 150 millimeter thickness the run type it's zero nosing but this is basically i can change the naming here if i want to see it i can write this as 150 millimeter zero nosing so i guess i know that what is it the type i have it there the naming is only for yourself to understand them clearly what do we have there now those things here you can adjust them according to the model that you have it and while you're creating them you have access to change them but you cannot go beyond those things that you specify them here I believe that is something happened so it didn't accept what well, I changed it now let me go back to the architectural stir now let's say that we manage those things we change them I'm directly going for the drawing part drawing part there now the drawing part for stir it has whatever it has its own way of dealing with now the things that you must understand when you want to draw after 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 editing the type of everything after editing the type it comes for the drawing now drawing here we have base level first story top level second story now you can offset them you can offset them sometimes people offsetting the top why because they want they want the stair, stair to have to have one more step not to act not to take the slab as the last step because rivet by itself it's gonna consider the slab as the last step for your stair so if you don't want this happen you can add the offset but you have to make sure that at the end you will go and adjust the things there because sometimes they will not match so let's assume that i am like the thickness of the slab i have it is 15 centimeter Then I'm going to change the actual thread depth, it's 28. Now this is the riser height 17. By changing the desired number of riser, the riser height is going to change. So if I change this one to something, for example, 25, it's going to see it's changed to 15. Why? Because... So if... If the... The, let's say I'm changing something to be able to teach you that to remind you let's say I'm keeping this one to be 20 I have 20 now if you get this warning you said the actual riser height of the stair is greater than the maximum riser height specified in the stair type then you press ok you're gonna go to edit type this is basically says that you said here maximum can be 18 here it is 0.2 so this is the thing that you must pay attention to this one so if you know what you're doing you'll not make a mistake but if you are trying to design something this warning will appear so let's say I'm, I'm keeping this thing is okay point two thirty now here it's point two this one's still point twenty eight remember I have to change on point three then I can change the things that's point three this is point to the height 20 right number of rays I have it start from first story to second story this is the height of them will be so we will face something the type of the step which we will be going to choose it here I'm not going to go for detailing you can choose one of them now the way dealing with you can start you can move somewhere it's up to you start somewhere now it's going to give you as one going to tell you that you have 20 rays now you can break it by giving a landing so you can for example somewhere let's say I'm going for 10 then I can go for this side here then I can draw the other side now you can adjust the spacing between them but remember those are basically depends on the thing that we had them there now 20 I have 20 razors height of them 0.2 now adjusting the things between them or like moving this one remember you have to select three of them a three part basically there's two run and one landing here select them and you can move to the desired location that you have and you can rotate whatever you want let's say we're going to place this one in the middle or somewhere that desired doesn't matter let's say we're placing it somewhere here let's say placing it somewhere now 
I don't want to go for the joining them. Let's just put, keep it here. Now, if you want to adjust the distance between those things there, you can click on any of them. You're going to have some grip. So if I adjust this one, take same to adjust. Well, it depends on this one in that case. And let's see if I move this one a bit to this side here. I'm going to use move command. It will be easier to move to see exactly how much the spacing I have it between them. If I don't know the spacing, how about this one adjusting? So in this case, the the landing it depends on the other one so if i move this one the landing automatically is adjusting itself so if i want to measure this i could use measurement adjust this between them with the annotate then you can simply move it exactly how much it is let's say this is done here this is done here now if i press ok remember with the we're going to use shaft opening then we're going to see look at the 3d we may have a small problem there now the railing you may get a warning the railing is not continuous you keep this one there so if i go to 3d the staircase you cannot see in a 3d so you have to press vv visual graphic override from this stair will be highlighted so you highlighted you can see the stairs there now i'm gonna go for so this is the stair i have it there it's gonna go for first story and add the opening the shaft opening so shaft opening so in the shaft opening we say we're gonna draw something around the stair to open it now the shaft opening here we have a lot of information for it but the important things for the shaft opening the shaft opening it is for example where do you want to start for example the base constraint where is it for example we have first story to second story yes it can be adjusted later if you don't know how to deal with this thing, let's say I'm starting with the first story. I have some offset there. There is another offset. I can choose for the top constraint to be to be second level. To be second level and to give some offset there. Top offset, for example, to be. I'm gonna tell you what does those offset means. The same one meter there. It's gonna go up. Let's see. I'm gonna tell you what does this gonna do for us. The offset there, those things basically means that the, the shaft that you have it, where do you want to cut basically? Where do you want to cut? So that's basically what I did because I want to cut both of them. So I had, I start from here, I start from there and then I give an offset down. If you click on here on the space, you'll be able to see. Now you'll be able to see this is the the shaft there is an offset there minus 0.3 down and one meter above so that it will cut both of them there it just need to be something so that above the levels to cut both of the level we have it now you realize that we have a problem there why because the slab thickness that they have it slab thickness it is not the same of the riser the riser with 20 the slab thickness is 15 so the rivet by itself it is assuming that it's assuming that the last one will be a riser so in order to manage this one you have to go and in the model in place you can manage this one or while creating while creating the slab you will give an offset an offset with the same the riser offset so that it will create another riser to come to the level we have it there this is important to do or sometimes people creating this one goes to the modeling place by creating a section and in modeling place they will create they will join this between them the gap between them so if i go to will be seen clear in the section if i create a section 
som är through here. This section will appear there. So I can see through the clear that this does not reach the thing that we have there. Now editing this one sometime works. Sometime editing, if you click on the clicking on the stair, it will take you back to the stair properties. Sorry, this is bad. I need the stair here. So selecting the stair will take you back to the stair that you have it, but editing here anything here might give you some problem there so if I change this one to 21 and if I change the offset let's see if I can manage this one 0.2 to have the same thing that we have it there So accepting what you're doing here unless you do it in the beginning sometimes changing here will not be the things that you wanted it takes some time to regenerate it I'm not expecting it to be done because while creating if you specify the offset there will be easier in the beginning why because now the levels are set that the numbering will be distributed between the levels so sometime and by the way the problem we have it here also the slab was above the level it's basically tell you that the same thing happening there I right, bring it down still let me make this one a bit See if I may make this one 20. See if it is going to come. But the problem still we have it here is the slab is above. Above the level that we have it. So in that case, you can manage this one while in the beginning by offsetting the, the, the slab. Since the slab is not the same as the thickness of the, of the riser. So you'll face this one. The easiest way to manage it is by going with model in place you can just come and create a model in place between the slab and the staircase at the top then you can simply join them together that will solve the problem for you easier i recommend the model in place if you struggle with the offsetting like still we have it why because this is still accepting it it's something going on there well since i'm trying to adjust or edit the things that we have it here it keep giving me something like this so recommended to do in the beginning if you have those possible cases but if you have the same which normally you don't have the same high so you're facing this one so I recommend you go for the model in place join them create something here by yourself a step and then join it with a slab the things that we have a day so pay attention for those information that you have this is one of the main issue in the stir and the levels we have at the slab so the slab above the level main issue is this the, this one will not be connected to the level that we have it please pay attention to those practice a bit so that you know how to manage those things easily the other things on the slab that we have it they, we said that we can if i go to first story we can adjust the things here if you select this one you can adjust things there different type of slab now you can adjust the landing if you wish to you can sketch it delete this one redo the way that you want it it's up to you those detailing all can be done easily but the important is the levels that you have it and the height to pay attention to be able to manage it there and one thing that stair is not in the structural tab is in architectural in the 3d you cannot see it unless you will use the visual graphic override to make sure you can see the stairs there now the material it is i didn't change the material this way it does not look like the same so make sure the material will be the same if you want to see in the bill of quantity the material to be there or when you're adding the 
still reinforcement the materials to be similar so they will not have any problem there the railing that's a part of architectural this is important we said the railing important but we're not focusing on the railing here type of railing which kind of railing those are something we can leave it for the architecturals to manage the things that we have it there thanks for watching